Good morning, y'all. So here at Co-op Kennels, we do not believe in wasting. Uh, today, I'm just going to make a special meal for Beretta with some products, uh, some things that, you know, I had in my, in the refrigerator or I was going to use or like leftovers from something that I, wouldn't, I did not want to waste. So that way we can make a healthy meal for Beretta. So today she won't be eating um, dog food. So, but what what I have here is the overnight oats. It's just basically oatmeal soaked in water overnight, and then it becomes soft for something that she can chew up on. It's very high in grains. It has a lot of fiber for her to break so that it can break the rest of the food down in her body easy. And just a lot of nutrients, more, more so for her body, which is which is really good. So you don't, you don't need the rice grain or anything like that. It doesn't get stuck in her throat. She's not choking over it. And I will add these two eggs for her in her food. I might give one to mommy, but um, this is what I have. And then here I had I made a pasta salad and I just had some pasta that stuck to the bottom of the pot. And so I'm just using that. And at the bottom, I did make some, um, at the bottom, if you can see, I made some icing. So I saved the egg yolks from that icing that I made. And I'm going to make, I'm just you add that to her food for more protein and everything like that. So she has two types of grains. She's got the pasta and she's got the uh, oatmeal. And then we've got the eggs and you've got the egg yolks that have a lot of protein in them, which is really good for her. Then here I've got my trimmings from uh, fruits and vegetables. I've got watermelon, some cucumbers, um, strawberries. The strawberries are a little bit too mushy, so I'm going to use them for her. Um, and I've also got some um, kiwis. So the kiwis, they were, they, were, they were good. So they weren't like leftover kiwis or whatever, but they were still fresh and good. So I just want to use that. And then here... Whatever we buy, like um, chicken, and we cut it, we have at the bottom of left of the bag because we buy like a 40 pound bag of chicken. So, what I do is like I boil that blood so that I can give it to them and I'm not giving them raw blood. So, this is just the this is what it, it, it is. So, it's more so protein, it's like chicken broth, but it still have the, the you still have the um, what they call them, I would say like blood clumps or like whatever is in the blood that clumps up at the top. Usually, if you're for broth, they they skim this off the top and put it in the trash. But we're just since this, we're going to feed it to the dogs. We're keeping everything. So this is basically chicken broth. We're from the blood, and um, that's what we're doing. So that's we'll add that there. It has a lot of protein, still a lot of calcium in it because of the chicken. You know, the chicken, um, the meat, and everything like that. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the bone, but from the blood and everything like that of the chicken. It has the nutrients that the chicken ate. So we've got that there. So we're just gonna go ahead and make a meal for Beretta with all of this. And then I'll show you what it looks. I'll be right back. So here's the bowl of food. As you can see, it's very colorful, which you would like to do, which you would, which is good because you want that for to, to have a colorful diet for your dog, which means they're getting all different spectrum of the nutrients. They've got the vitamin E's, the D's, A's, B's, all that stuff there. The red is for their blood and everything like that. They have water retention and they've got enough protein in there, which is the same thing as with adults. So it's very important that when you're feeding your dog anything, you think about yourself. Would I eat this if I was a dog? If I was an animal or if, if an animal was me, would they eat this, right? So that's how you kind of want to think about it when you're making your dog food or even choosing a, a food for your dog. So today... Beretta's eating a really healthy meal. She's got her grains. She's got her protein, her, her meat protein. She's got her uh, fruits. She's got her vegetables. So this is a pretty, 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 pretty um, versatile bowl. It's a very balanced diet for her today, which is what I really like doing with, with the dogs a lot of times. Now, as you can see, I did not use all of that because this could be stretched into a lot of dog foods. So this is also something that I use when I'm trying to trick dogs that really don't want to like if you feed them a lot of dog food they get tired of it so it sometimes when i don't have when i haven't bought meat in a while i use the blood or this or just this substance right here to trick them into eating the dog food because it tricks them in their mind they're triggered to think that oh there's meat in here but yet it's just really the broth and everything like that it technically is meat but it's not the actual chicken that they that they used that they're used to eating so once they smell this in their food it triggers their mind they eat the food because sometimes they'll just flip the bowl over if they're like i'm done with dog food and it happens a lot so i just use this to kind of stop that from happening so we're going to feed this to beretta you're going to see how she takes it how she really likes it and then we'll go from there all right so i've got beretta here there's her bowl and there she is 
eating herself away. And this is something that you would like to, to, to continuously do with your dogs daily so that they can be used to eating this. I know a lot of people, they don't feed their dogs this and they see somebody um, feeding like ve vegetables and fruits to their dogs and they're wondering, how can I do that? And you go and try to feed it to the dog and the dog just like eats around it. But you have to start them off when they're young and keep it consistent in their diet so that they can know that, okay, this is something I'm supposed to be eating or I should be eating that is good for them. So you kind of get used to it. It's kind of like children. If you don't feed them vegetables, they're not going to get used to those vegetables. Then when you start feeding them vegetables, they're like, I'm not eating this. You know, so same thing with animals. You just got to do whatever you want to do to them. You have to start it when they're younger or start it from somewhere and consistently do it so that they can continue eating it. See, the first thing she's eating right now is her eggs because she recognizes the eggs. She loves the eggs and that's her thing. And then she'll go in and eat everything else around that. So, yeah, it's really good that she's going to, um, it's very good for her health, for her growth as well. I would have put milk in there, but it's going to be too much protein since I've already put that chicken stuff in there and the eggs. So you don't want to feed them too much protein, just like, a, just like a human being. Too much protein is really not good for you. All those people who are with their keto diets. Protein's not good for you. You need carbs and everything like that to burn off. So you don't burn off protein. You burn off carbs. But um, definitely uh, you don't want to overload with a lot of things. So it's very good that you, know, you, you definitely want to keep their diet where it needs to be at. And I'm going to let her go ahead and continue eating her food in privacy. Um, and then we'll... Um, that's it for the day. So that's just my way that I like to feed the dogs. I did give some of the food to mommy and mommy. So when, when you have puppies, it's really good for you to feed them a really healthy diet like this. Um, as they get older, you want to consistently keep, keep it up with them. It really helps. Like I said, with her coat, you see how shiny her coat is. It wasn't like this. It was dull. I used to have to give her a shower. I would wash her and blow dry her and all that other good stuff. And there's still, her coat was just looking dull, but look at how shiny it is. Right. I don't even have to, it's a nice shiny coat. So the, the food that you give them really helps with the, the overall health of the dog. So if you don't want your dog to have health issues, just like you don't want yourself to have health issues, you got to eat, your, you got to eat a good diet, just like your, your animal has to eat a good diet. So that is it on my meal for the day for Beretta and what I like to give her to eat. And see you guys in the next video.